back to the red 450 here and for those of you guys that remember a year and plus ago uh, I got it all together it had a screwed up keyway on the crankshaft and then I started it up and it was leaking oil out of the seal around the crank back here so I got a new seal and a guy had cut a new keyway in the crank for me I kind of wonder if that has anything to do with it so what I'm going to do is take off the flywheel and take off the blower housing and see if we can't investigate why it's leaking oil. I got the puller. It only took me a half hour to find it in my garage. And now I just have to get the right size socket because I just screwed up and took the wrong one. There we go. It's a 20 millimeter a sneaky aftermarket Chinese tools. Now let's see if I can do this with the ratchet. Oops, I help if I tightened it instead of loosening it. Or will I need the impact wrench? Let's see. I'll use the impact, it'll be simpler. Let's see what we got. There we go. No problem. Four seconds and it's done. So I already see what the problem is. When the guy machined the keyway for me to put in this just square slot, the keyway is going deeper than the freaking oil seal. So the question is, what can I do about that? Let me see if I can zoom into this. So the keyway is going right in there. So my seal is probably good, but it's just puking oil right out of the center of the keyway there. So you see this whole <laughs> stator is covered with oil, everything. So I think what I got to do is take this whole timing cover off of the motor here and uh investigate that keyway you know can i put something in that hole to seal it up like jb weld or some kind of silicone or something like that so that where it goes through the oil seal there there's not a hole that the oil is just going to pour out of or can i drive the seal deeper uh, how far deeper does that keyway go is the next question you know and uh you know, I've, I've got this key here, which is just the length of the flywheel. And I guess when the guy cut it and when I brought it to him, I never really thought about the length of it and screwing up the oil seal and neither did he. And he was just doing me a favor. He didn't even charge me, just a friend that did it for me. And neither one of us ever thought of that. So I can't take the fault. He can't take the fault. It's just one of those freak things, you know? So. Let me get the stator off, get that out of the way. It's got to unhook the governor up here. Then I can pull this whole assembly right off the motor here and we can investigate the seal. I think I'm gonna take a Sharpie and just like, or maybe I'll just measure in how deep this is to where the seal is right now. And then we can have a better idea of the logistics of this issue. So I just took my caliper here and I measured in and it's 2.107 inches, so. Now I'll close this up and I'll pull this timing cover off and you don't have to worry the oil is down in the sump here so there's no oil up here until it starts pumping and running. So sometimes these are hard to take off so they might need a little persuading with a hammer but this one's been off recently so it shouldn't be that bad but what makes it tough is getting it over these two like dowel pins. They're the tough part so we'll be back. Well uh the bad news is that I machined it all the way in. So basically my oil seal has this hole under it the whole time. So somehow I'm gonna have to fill that up with some kind of material and plug it up so that it can't leak out. And the question is, what do I use for that? Somehow I'm gonna have to plug this up with some kind of material. And uh, the question is, what do I use for that? Is it JB Weld or is it some kind of epoxy or what product do I put on there? I think I'll have to resort to Gravely 1964. He's the, uh, you know, the guru of JB Weld. So we'll ask him what he thinks. So that's why I got my oil leak. Kind of sucks, but if he had only went about this far with that keyway instead of all the way in there, well, we wouldn't have had this issue. But I never thought of it. He never thought of it. I mean, what can you do, you know? And then the other question is, if I go to the timing cover itself, you know, if I look at this, 
the seal is like bottomed out all the way in here. So unless I put the seal on backwards, which I don't even know if you can put the seal on backwards, but this little nub there is still not going to, this little nub up here is still going to be flapping in the breeze and oil is just going to flow right out. So that kind of sucks, but luckily it's not in a spot where it's got like all the oil of the engine, like it was down in the sump or something, but a leak's a leak. So if I can't figure out how to plug that up, I'm going to have to get a different crank, which crank was already not usable anyways. This was a last ditch hope to save it. But if I had to do that, it sucks because I got to take this whole entire engine apart again. And I really don't want to do that. It was hard enough the first time. So anyways, we'll be back. All right, so here's the plan. I bought some JB Weld. I'm gonna fill this in with JB Weld until it gets to the taper. And then I ordered a thing called a ready sleeve, which is a sleeve that will slip right over this diameter. And that way it will cover that gap. And uh, when I put the ready sleeve on there, it will not tear up the inside of the seal or degrade the JB weld out with the seal so hopefully that will fix this thing so I'm gonna mix a little of this up and just smear it in there and uh, we'll see what happens all right so I got the JB in there and uh, the Sun's out and we'll let it dry for 24 hours like the instructions say and then maybe I'll just hit it with a file and see if we can get a good 